Hi, Ethelyn. Um, Hello. Great to see you again. You too. And uh, I wanted to know, like, uh, what first got you interested in, you know, politics, I suppose, and libertarian ideas and made you eventually uh, go to the point of becoming a candidate for a political party? Really big deal, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, not many people do that. So, no. like, what was it that started it all? Look, yeah, um, I, I'm sorry, to, I'm, I hate to say it, but what we experienced during COVID really opened my eyes to what was happening with regard to government overreach. Um, the reason that I decided to join the party um, and get into politics was to make a change. You know, I could either keep making angry Facebook posts and throwing my shoe at the TV, or I could, you know, essentially put my money where my mouth is uh, and run and, and really try and make a difference. So that's why I've, I've done this today. And like, I, I don't think this is such a different story to many of our members and supporters that they got interested in yeah. during the camp pandemic because they saw this power that they'd never experienced before, right? And then you get to this point where you realize it's not just that, right? Yeah, that's right. So it's just, and that's exactly right. Because as you say, you know, you think it's these big, things like pandemic powers and then you look back and uh, I, I'm an ex-smoker so I used to smoke cigarettes and you you think back to times when you can't smoke here you can't smoke there you you know you might be outdoors and they say you can't smoke here and it's so you realize these little restrictions and, and these nanny state laws that we have it all ties into you know government overreach so to speak so when you know when we say oh you know there's there's too much government power it's not just big things that you experience during COVID. It's these little things as well, you know. You need a permit for this and, you know, licenses for that. And yeah, so you, you realise it, it all ties in together. And one of the things that I know that you're really passionate about is uh, defending small businesses, right? Yes. And they're, they're one of the biggest uh, victims of overreach yeah. in many ways, because like they're just trying to get along. They don't have the resources of major corporations. They don't have a legal and compliance department. No. Often it's just mum and dad running a yeah. business. Um, what do you think about that? I know there's lots of small businesses in Mulgrave, yes. uh, entrepreneurs. Yeah. Like, um, what are your thoughts on small business? I, I think that they're really struggling. And you know, we when it comes to things like you know penalty rates. Like I went out for for lunch on Grand Final Day and there was a 15% surcharge because it was a public holiday. People behind me were saying, oh, you know, look at this cafe charging extra. And I had to say to them, I said, well, they have to make their costs as well because they're paying their staff more. Mm. I said, at the end of the day, it comes to us, the consumer. Mm -hmm. And you could just see the cogs turn in their head. And it's like, oh yeah. And that's where I really feel for small businesses because your big conglomerates, they can afford that. Um, but your small businesses, that's where they struggle. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you, you mentioned the, the vaping issue yes. as well. Um, this is something that we've spoken about a lot. Um, we've got this situation now where, you know, organised crimes running rampant and it's really just due to prohibition and exactly. what they're doing with it. And um, like, what are your thoughts on all that? Well, as you say, it's like prohibition, you know, it's like, it's almost like, you know, 1920 Chicago. Yeah. You know, let's face it, I mean, it's pretty Al wild at the it moment. It is, right? Like Al Capone, you think of him as this massive gangster, but he was a bootlegger. Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, it was all about alcohol. And, and as we're seeing, prohibition does not work. Mm -hmm. People are going to find other avenues to do it. And then we have an unregulated market, essentially becomes the Wild West, and people and businesses get hurt. Mm. Well, um, thanks for talking no today. Problem. And let's uh, do it again soon. All right. Thanks for having me. Authorised by Angus Ward, Libertarian Party, Docklands, Victoria.